welcome back to the channel. Today is a good day, a great day, an amazing day. I have been uh, super blessed by uh, Bill Surrett, which is a friend of mine's dad, and um, two friends of mine, I don't know, they're brothers, his dad. So he uh, wanted to get rid of a special something that I'm about to show you, and I am super excited because it is going to be my new Datsun 620 project. So here it is. I'll go ahead and take you around and uh, kind of show it to you, but it is a 1973 Datsun 620, um, obviously a pickup. And um, what's really cool about it, if you can't notice already, it is on bags and it is literally on the ground. So as you can see, leaves are stuck under it. So you can definitely tell it is on the ground. But before we get into all the details, what's really cool about this truck is Bill got it as a project and started taking it apart, getting into it, got it started, and just decided to go a different route and put money into a couple other projects that he has. And as you know, my dad has a Datsun as well. He actually has multiple as you can see and um, he has 320s which are what these cabs are behind me here and so those are 320s that is the older model of this truck basically it goes 320 up to the 620 so he has six in the 60s models um, so that being said I really wanted a truck to enjoy and to build with him and to be able to take and 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 drive and it kind of matches you know the Datsuns so this was really cool he ended up getting in contact with me um, through one or both of his sons and um, ended up messaging me saying hey do you want a, this Datsun truck and I kind of said yes before I even saw it and uh, two hours later they dropped this off so I'm super excited um, it basically from the radiator to the rear end, all of the drivetrain is there. It was a running and driving truck on bags, um, is the history that I know of it. And it has been, uh, went to a, the last owner before Bill had it, was at a shop and they were body dropping it. So as you can see, the body is on the ground. And um, so it's basically partially done in the body drop section. So, uh, which I'll show you more in depth, but it is has a lot, it's been cut up a lot, but I'm I'm in love with it. And what's not to like about learning more about doing, you know, sheet metal and fabrication work, which I've already been doing, but it, it's going to be great to learn and expand on. So I'll show you the inside first. Show you what I'm talking about on the body drop. So right here, as you can see. Uh, the floor is up right here and we're thinking we haven't measured it out completely and taken the cab off but we're believing it is probably like a two to three inch drop so they ended up doing a false floor and raising it up and then as you can see inside it, which it's not complete yet but they've they've raised it up put a new tunnel and uh, the other side I'll show you this part is filled in but um, there's some things I want to fix and I'll get into it in later videos. I'm going to bring you along for the process for sure. But things like the uh, like the tubs are, are incorrectly placed, the tunnel is too high, the gas pedal doesn't clear. So things like that are definitely going to be cutting out and re reworking. And these are seats from my 240 just stock S14 seats that I have sitting here. I think I'm going to run these and cut the brackets off and make my own brackets um, but as far as interior goes it has a good dash uh, the door, stock door panels stock armrests um, it has some aftermarket stuff we're gonna go ahead and, and gut all the wiring and rewire it but um, so far it's it's really nice it's really good looking um, it has a lot of potential don't mind all the ghost flames and uh, that definitely and the you know the spikes but that's not really my style but <laughs> it's something to, to laugh and, and to love and excited to see 
where it goes, obviously. So around to the back, there has been there uh, there has been a lot of sheet metal done to it. You know, you gotta love this. So a lot of this truck is not my taste. So we're gonna be seeing it going into uh, more of my taste. But this is definitely one of the items that will probably be on there when I first drive it as a joke, and then it'll be taken off. Uh, but they've done some some sheet sheet metal work. I'm not too sure. Um, there is some signs that it wasn't really done to the quality that I would like. But um, this is normally open from stock, so we'll get into that when we can see it. Uh, I really love on this body style. There's two things: the refrigerator door latches for the tailgate, and another really awesome thing that I like is this body line like this is the reason why people buy this truck and it starts here and kind of flows through the bed and uh, the the earlier models don't have this and they they added it in and I absolutely love it when it's you can see it more clearly when it's a solid color but uh, absolutely love it so something I don't want you to see and I really wish was in way better quality is the bed so we have a couple spare parts back here, a seat that came with it, stuff like that. Uh, we just hooked up airline so we can move it because it does sit on the ground, which is really funny. Uh, we're going to put in some, some, or an engineer, some safety measures because when this airs out, it's on the frame. Uh, so in an emergency situation, that's going to be really bad one day. But so we just have it air to have it run like that so we can move it. But the bed has sadly been cut all around the floor of it and moved up to where it's about you know three three and a half inches from the top these are were just uh, glued in but I really want to fix this scenario whether it be cutting the center section out and just raising the center section which it looked like they did at one point um, and lowering the sides or just doing the same thing but but fixing it in better quality and to my standard a lot of this truck the bones are great and I'm super blessed about it but the cool part is unlike my dad's uh, 320 that is mostly all originals like it's all original sheet metal you don't want to cut it this has already been under the knife by someone else so it gives me a little bit of more leeway and I really love the fact that I can kind of take a break it doesn't have to be 100 percent original sheet metal although i love that about vehicles especially older ones um, and i can kind of just do what i want and change what i want so the bones are good uh, there's a lot of it that i want to check remeasure re you know gusset or, or cut out and replace um, but all in all it's a great platform and an and a amazing project that i'm so excited to to uh to start on and bring you all along with it and I'm gonna try to do like a playlist with episodes and I'm just super excited about it and I'm so blessed like honestly it's a complete God thing that I have this truck and that I was given this truck and um, just super excited once I get this running and driving uh, Bill's one request was to push the buttons to let the air out and drive it so we're definitely gonna have him on the channel we're going to give him a ride in it and um, so that should be awesome you know definitely he said he's gonna stop by and see how the progress is but I'm super excited and just so blessed and this is definitely just a blessing from God because I'm able to make more content for you and you know it's in the Datsun family it'll be fun it'll be good to go out on cruises and I plan on daily in this this will be my daily driver which I don't have right now um, so it's just a huge blessing all around and um, yes I know daily driving a bagged you know 73 truck but it's gonna happen and I, I'm gonna love it and I don't care if it has AC or heat because that's how we started out driving so I'm super excited I'll take you around to the front I know I didn't show this off but it's what's really neat about this truck is all of the original lights um, for what I know is original all the lights are here um, so the side marker lights on the bed on the front uh, the lights up here the front ends a little beat up uh, 
I can either find, I've looked and I can find this uh, original or aftermarket on the lights and this valence piece. And uh, the grill's in great condition, which is surprising. And then these are just some chrome covers I'm probably going to take off. Someone put in LED lights. Uh, but all the sheet metal is here. Uh, the, it has like a distressed paint job on it. I'm going to mess around. This side of the hood is black, so I guess they're getting to it. So I'm going to mess around and see if I can mimic the side of the, of the truck. It will get a paint job eventually, but probably just get it running and driving and safe right now. So, uh, other than that, the history that I know of it is what I've said previously, and obviously someone has taken it to a lot of shows and uh, had some mini truck fun with it, which I kind of wanted to show it to you. And uh, as how it is, how I got it, I have to tell you the best part of this truck. Now I know there's a lot that I really love about it, but my style can be summed up in one feature. Come here. Just your average, you know, antenna. Yes, I say antenna. But when you need those hard to reach radio stations, that only, you know, uh, extending it can get. Now look at that. That is a highfalutin piece of antenna right there. And yes, I do have to say, when I'm out and about, you know, cruising the strip, we're gonna be running this puppy all the way up. It is awesome. Get a get a get a further shot. Now if you saw that coming down the road, you know they're listening to those hard to reach stations. We have the hood off now. I wanted to take it off to show you uh, what we're working with in here. There's a lot of wires everywhere. Uh, definitely something that obviously I'm going to clean up, sort through. It, the front end was off of this when Bill dropped it off. Uh, you can see down in here, uh, I ended up tacking it back on and putting the body panels on just really quickly. Uh, it was tacked from the guy he got it and the front end ended up falling off when he <laughs> actually was taking it to his house from Dallas. Uh, but that is the drop right there. I put the sheet metal back on so y'all could see it. This has all been cut out and as you can see the tub is pretty ridiculous in terms of where it needs to be versus how it's tubbed so I definitely want to adjust that. Obviously there's some turning radius here but it's just not fitting correctly in the way I want. So we're going to be addressing that. Uh, both sides are cut out. These wheels are really neat. They are six lug uh, green. They have this, you know, bullet center cap. I, I kind of hated it at the beginning, but actually really have fallen in love with it, which is kind of scary, but they'll probably stay on there for the time being. Really love the wheels, but these are just, you know, steel wheels with probably from a truck or a bigger truck or something like that. And they have horrible offset. So if you look on this side, the offset on these wheels makes them stick in super far. There's a lot of room on the outside here and here. So we are going to try to run spacers because our clutch master cylinder is actually the, the tire and wheel are sitting basically right where it needs to go. So we are going to be, if you can see it under there and in here, that's where it mounts up and that's where it's going. So uh, we either are going to have to do an internal master if we want to leave this fitment or run spacers or different wheels. So I think for the time being, just to make sure it's running and driving safely, I think I'm going to put spacers on the wheels, about two inch spacer all the way around. It'll create the fitment to be a little bit better and to have room there to play with. Uh, we have the four cylinder engine. I believe this is from the research, still researching stuff, but I believe this is the L18, which is a 1.8 liter um, four cylinder. It has an aftermarket header. Bill put on just a new, uh, just a standard carburetor on it. It does have the spacer that he had to run so we're gonna see about the hood clearance with the air cleaner. Um, 
other than that it looks like the main bits and pieces of this engine are here it has a cool radiator with an electric fan um, all the hoses and stuff are here the exhaust I crawled under it's a full exhaust it's to the beginning of the bed um, this is original uh, I guess got some cool horns and other than that it is what it is all the basics are here which is a good thing all the running gear from the radiator to the rear end is there and pretty much is exactly what I would want and exactly you know what you need to get it running to get it started and uh, get it driving so other than cleaning it up and cleaning up the wiring everything that I can tell is here so just rerouting stuff cleaning up the sheet metal uh, they're definitely going to be redoing the tubs and the floor but all in all all in all it's a huge blessing and I'm just absolutely in love with it and I can't be happier so I can't wait to create more videos with this and I'll go ahead and right now put in you know a couple of beauty shots she may not be beautiful to you but I'm so excited and I just when I look at this I fully just see potent potential and you know just what I've wanted and the bones of it is just awesome so I'm excited to make it my own to change things here and there and really have a fun great daily completely bagged and lane frame truck so it's super exciting and just thank you all so much for watching if you want to see more of this truck being built or any of the other videos please hit subscribe it would mean the world to me and I just really appreciate you viewing this and you know maybe if you feel like you should share it go ahead share it you're more than welcome to it really helps me out and I really appreciate it thank y'all so much for getting to this point in the video and I'm just so thrilled that y'all are watching that y'all are loving the content and this is just a blessing from God and means to be able to make more content and live a life that God is involved and God is blessing and just he has blessed us and it's just really cool and really neat and this is a huge blessing and once again Thank you, Bill Surrett. I really appreciate it. I am so excited. And just whatever this truck becomes, I just want to say this now. It's because of you and it's because of your, you know, your blessing into mine and Amanda's life. So thank you so much.